Hello students, this is the second video of molecular basis of inheritance and topic covered is double helix model of DNA and chair gap rule. So let's start. Double helix model of DNA was given by Watson and Crick. So it was given by Watson and Crick which was based on X-ray diffraction data of Morris Wilkin and Rosalind Franklin. So, Watson and Crick gave double helix model structure of DNA which was based on data of Morris Wilkin and Rosalind Franklin. Now, let us study its feature. According to feature 1, DNA is made up of two polynucleotide chains. As you can see in the diagram, here are the two polynucleotide chains of DNA. Now, the backbone of this chain are made up of sugar phosphate. So, these chains, they are the backbone of these chains are made up of sugar and phosphate. While between these two polypeptide chain, as you can see, base pairs are projecting. So, the backbone is made up of sugar phosphate and between the two polynucleotide chain, base pairs are projecting. This is the feature one. Feature 2 says that the two chains are anti-parallel to one another. That means if one chain runs from 5 prime to 3 prime, the other will run from 3 prime to 5 prime. As you can see in the diagram, these the num the carbon number fifth uh, on carbon number fifth the phosphorus is attached. So this would be 5 prime end. And on the same chain the on carbon number 3, OH is attached. So, this would be the 3 prime end. And if we see the complementary chain, here would be, here is again OH. So, this would be again the third carbon. And again, here is phosphorus. So, this would be the fifth carbon. So, these two chains are anti-parallel. That means if one chain runs from 5 prime to 3 prime, the other will run from 3 prime to 5 prime. Now, let us look at feature number 3. According to Watson and Crick, the nitrogenous bases are present between the two strands. Now, as you can see here, these are the nitrogenous bases which are present between the two strands. These nitrogenous bases are linked by hydrogen bond. So, the nitrogenous bases are linked by hydrogen bond. Adenine and thymine have double Hydrogen bond, as you can see, between adenine and thymine, there is double hydrogen bond. Whereas guanine and cytosine have triple bond. As you can see here, between guanine and cytosine, there is triple bond. So, this is a third feature of model of DNA given by Watson and Crick. Now, let us look at the feature number four. It states that the pitch of helix, well, what is pitch? Pitch means the height of one complete turn. As you can see from here to here, the helix has taken one complete turn. This is known as pitch. So, the pitch means height of one complete turn of DNA is 3.4 nanometer. And between this one turn, there are 10 base pairs. Between this one turn, there are 10 base pairs in the DNA. Now, according to feature fifth, the distance between these two nitrogenous bases is 0 0.34 nanometer. As you can see, this is one nitrogenous base and this is the other. The distance between these two is 0 0.34 nanometer. And at last, we should know that this DNA is coiled in a right-handed fashion. So, DNA is coiled in a right-handed fashion. These were the features of DNA given by Watson and Crick. Now, let us study irwin chergaff rule. It is famously called Chergaff rule. According to Chergaff rule, in DNA, the proportion of adenine is always equal to thymine. So, as you can see, adenine proportion would be always equal to thymine and proportion of guanine would be always equal to cytosine. So, Chergaff rule states that the proportion of adenine would be equal to thymine 
and proportion of guanine would be equal to cytosine. Now let us solve a question based on chair gap rule. If percentage of adenine is 20%, calculate the percentage of cytosine. So if adenine is 20%, then thymine would also be 20%. So 20 plus 20 means 40 and 60% is left behind. Out of this 60%, 30% would be guanine and 30% would be cytosine. So this is the use of Chergaff rule in calculating the percentage of one nitrogenous base if percentage of other nitrogenous base is given. So if you have gained something from this video, please subscribe now to my channel Ramji Chopra, comment, like and share.